All right, let's solve the following problem for x. So what we can do here is just find a common denominator. If you look, all these, uh, denom well, we can factor out a 2 here, and we get x plus 2. And then over here, we can factor out a 6, and we get x plus 2. So it looks like our common denominator here will actually be 6 times x plus 2. So that means for the first denominator, 3 times 5. And then the second denominator, it's just 3. And then we have 6 over x plus 2. And on the right here, the denominator is 1. So it's 6 times x plus 2 times 2 over 6 times x plus 2. And since they both have 6 times x plus 2, denominators cancel out. So we're left with 15 plus 3, which is 18, is equal to... It's going to be 12 times x plus 2, so we end up with um, 12x plus 24. Subtract 24 from both sides. We end up with 12x equals negative 6, and ultimately x is equal to negative, negative 6 divided by 12 is negative 1 half. So here's our solution, but we want to test it, so let's do that. So we'll have 5 over 2 times negative 1 half plus 4 um, plus 3 over 6 times negative 1 half plus 12 equals 2. Let's check that. So this ends up being 5 over negative 1 plus 4 plus 3 over negative 3 plus 12. This ends up being negative 5 over 3 minus or plus 3 over 9, so this is negative 5 thirds plus 1 third, which is equal to negative 4. Something's not right. Oh, oh, I know what it is. This, should, this shouldn't this should be a negative. It, it's just 5 thirds. So 5 positive 5 thirds plus 1 third is equal to 6 over 3, which is equal to 2 equals 2. So that proves that x equals negative one half is correct. All right, I hope this helped you out. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.